Welcome back to Hatman Strikes Back Daily Boxing News. I am Hatman, of course, and in this video, I'll be reacting to Eddie Hearn firing back at this man right here, Brian Norman, the current WBO interim world welterweight champion. 23 years of age, 26 and 0, 20 KOs. Eddie Hearn offered him a fight with Boots Ennis. Norman's team acted like they wanted it. Eddie Hearn made several offers, but Norman turned them all down. And in this interview here, Eddie Hearn revealed how much his final offer actually was. It was 1.75 million. And not only is that a lot of money for a welterweight who damn near nobody has heard of, but according to Eddie Hearn, that final offer was almost exactly the same as what Boots Ennis would have been getting for the fight himself. Initially, Ennis would have been getting significantly more, but presumably he agreed to cut his own purse down quite a lot in order to accommodate Brian Norman to try and get the fight on. But that wasn't good enough apparently for Brian Norman and he's chosen to go in a different direction and fight somebody, according to Eddie Hearn, for about two or 300 grand instead. Maybe Norman's team think he's still a bit too green for the likes of Boots Ennis. Are you guys disappointed? Is this a fight you really wanted to see? There was a few people in my element group saying that Brian Norman is a bit of a dark horse, that they actually rate him. What say you? All I can tell you is, he certainly did not receive a low ball offer from Eddie Hearn. 1.75 million for a welterweight who, like I said earlier on, damn near nobody's ever heard of, is very good money. And as for Stanny Onis, because he was saying that he got low ball by Eddie Hearn as well, if he was offered anything like what Brian Norman Jr. was offered and he turned it down, he needs to give his head a shake. The PBC cult manages to completely bamboozle their fighters get him turning down life-changing opportunities, career-high purses. It's the strangest thing, but it's been going on for years now. And in particular, they've convinced their fighters that Eddie Hearn is the devil. Anyway, leave me your thoughts about this tragic comedy in the comments section below.